Hello, my name is Idris and uh, I've been a professional trainer uh, from past 10 years uh, down the line where I train, you know, like uh, our team, entire team train Pan India. Uh, we travel, you know, like entire India and uh, we go visit the colleges, different colleges and we train them to enhance on the programming language, programming skills. Simply, I will guide you through it. Okay, so look, no need of doing anything much. Uh, for example, if you are pursuing in engineering or BC or MCA, for them I'm talking now, right now, okay. Uh, for others also, I'll, I'm gonna talk it. Maybe like if you are doing in PUC and you are, you are keen to learn, you know, like a coding thing, and this is the best platform. My, now I'm coming here for the, especially for the engineering engineering people who are pursuing engineering and maybe like MTech or maybe you know MCA or BCA. This is particularly for them, okay. Irrespective of other branches, also fine, no problem. Until unless you have a complete uh, interest on it, right? Uh, you know, uh, for this course, you don't want anything previously uh, to know anything regarding coding. If you have a mathematical skills, that's more than enough. For example, mathematical skills means like, you know, like plus, minus, division, multiplication, division. Now, if you know this, that's more than enough for us. Okay. Now, I will take you the tour towards the, you know, programming language. How are we going to do it? Right. Uh, you know, like I'm not talking about the language right now. I'm talking about the coding, right? Uh, the coding and the language, it comes, you know, like uh, uh, on hands to hand, right? So language is different and coding is entirely thing is different. I'm talking about the logical skills or uh, logical thinking, thinking ability. For example, you can choose any of the language. Either you can choose it C or C++ or maybe like Java or maybe like Python. M few of them might know this. You might know this language, but you might lack in the concept in depth concept and depth knowledge of the concept and as well as the coding part or maybe like a logical skills okay so if you know this or if you don't know this we're gonna do something like this okay so we focus mainly on this concept for example we start with the uh, number logics uh, number logics and we go and then we deal with the pattern programming then we deal with the uh, array programming and then the, we deal with the string programming right Meanwhile, your recursions will come across and again, you will come across with what? DSA. Now, let's analyze how we're going to do this. Okay. For example, something like this. When you come across the number logic. Now, what are you going to do with the, do with the number logic? Uh, we're going to start it really with the scratch. Okay. While doing the number logic, we, we're going to do something like this. First thing what I needed is I needed operators. I needed uh, control statements. In control statement, I needed if condition and uh, looping. Uh, whatever the looping is. Uh, other one is I needed a uh, function might be right so uh, operators control statement and function this is more than enough for me to do any of the you know program any of the programming this is more than enough for me right and nothing I wanted like class object that this everything I don't until unless you are dealing with Java or C++ right uh, C++ also you don't want it like class objects you don't want it if you know these three things and you are easily you can do the number logic now coming to this number logic what you're gonna do is okay we're gonna really start it from the scratch okay for example something like this uh, when when I tell for example you know we will make the flexibility for you uh, how are you gonna make the flexibility for example if I have a number called as one two three four I'm gonna make sure that how, you know like we're gonna make make it like how to take this number out and how to add a number for this for example if I want to add a five here how to add a five here how do I how do I make it one two three four five or maybe like how to replace this five to here or maybe like how to remove this number or, or maybe like how to replace this number with uh, maybe like eight right and how to add in between I'll make it flexible for you and then we're gonna do around like we're gonna solve around like 200 programs over here right and then we come across pattern programming right so in pattern program what are you gonna do it okay so here comes your mathematical equations for example algebraical equations that is everything for example you can start with the equation like this why this 2 into i plus 1 why it is n minus 1 minus i right <clears throat> now depending upon this equation we're gonna create it like how to do this one we're gonna do all these shapes whichever this shape you are imagining it entire shape we're gonna do it right so whatever the shape you're coming in your mind okay we're gonna do that like anything right so all the shape right so we make it shape comfortable and then since you have done the number logics all the number logics pattern or number series things we're gonna involve this for example you have this uh, you know one two three one two three four five pattern or maybe like uh, you know a b c d pattern right this all the patterns will come across over here we're gonna solve around like 150 questions we're gonna solve it right and it's not like we're gonna solve it it's you gonna solve it okay so even if you have absolutely no idea about it and within maybe like five days within five or six days you're gonna do this but only with the help of this only these things and we're gonna make it in that way that is what the confidence we're gonna give it for you now next after after comfortable with this we might start okay some of the concept over here for example in c language if it is 
really important for you we're gonna do with the pointers we're gonna do the you know multi-dimension array we discuss about the dimension 1d 2d 3d 4d what is this indexing is what is the rule of indexing we're gonna strongly depthly we're gonna discuss regarding what indexes right and addresses that is everything if it is a python or java we're gonna strongly discuss regarding class and object right for example when we start java we directly don't dive into the you know like uh, uh, this one right so we're gonna tell that okay how this classes when especially when i do the java how this classes what is this function is what is this static is what is this public is what is this void written type it is and why it is that string argc array of args right why what is this use of this and these are all the things we're going to be going to the depth now what is this member variable local variable right so this is a uh, instance variable right so these are all the things we're going to be you know like discussing on to it but after giving that knowledge only i'm gonna start this okay so it depends upon the particular language to language how you're gonna do it okay so the, and overall at the end we're gonna tie up with all the languages because logic remains the same thing for example this equation remains same thing in all the languages so there is no difference and we're gonna tell them how to use that that's all it is and if i give that connection and you will get to know once someone says the algorithm you will get to know the connection that's all all about it right now coming on this arrays okay so what are you gonna do it now arrays means we're gonna play with the indexing now. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, it is there. So why is it 0, 1, 2, 3? For example, if there is, why, why can't I use it minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4? Even in C language, I'll teach you how to get this minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Even in Java also, even though you don't have a negative indexing, we're gonna play with this negative indexing. So it's just like logics, we're gonna use it and we're gonna do it, right? So starting from these, you know, like stepwise, look, I don't like the sudden improvements, okay? I, I love this staircase, okay? So one step, one step, one. either you're going in a lift or maybe in a staircase. You are, you are enjoying the process and going it. You are not like that, you know, like you are not doing magic. You are here now and suddenly you come to here. We are not doing that, right? So we go in a process, right? One program you are solving it, next program we know it. Which program you, gonna, you are capable of solving it? And what, what is the knowledge I need to give it to solve that? A little by little, little by little, little by little, right? Once it is done, we're gonna do something like this in array programming. We're gonna do something called as uh, searching. We're gonna concentrate on sorting. This is all the base algorithms where you're gonna you know, discuss on to it. Here in sorting, we're gonna do something around like 10 logics. Okay, starting from uh, selection, bubble, bar, insertion, right? Merge, quick, uh, count, redux. Okay, uh, uh, there are like uh, heaps or there are like many, th many things on to it. Okay, so we're gonna connect all the sorting and each sorting has its own beauty. Each sorting has its own logic, right? So for example, I will teach you in this order and I will tell you to do it in this order and I will tell you to do it in any of the order, in between any of the order and you're gonna enjoy that process and the thinking ability, you gonna change that, okay? Meanwhile, what you're gonna discuss is, this is very important, we're gonna discuss regarding lead code, right? So we we going to open your lead code or we will be having each day, half an hour, we'll be having a test on hacker rank we create a few of the questions we created few of the questions we'll copy from somewhere and we'll dump it if it is connecting to our flow and that is what we're gonna do it and each time when you give the test we're gonna study for you right so we will study you guys for example each person is a different different thinking perspective right each person thinks in a different way and when you for example if you're in Mysore you can come directly to the you know like office and you can have the session and if you're in somewhere around the old maybe like anywhere in the country or maybe like in the around the world right if you are doing anything if you are you know keen to learn this and you can connect in the online also so there is not no no thing right so i will be sharing one half for you and i'll be connecting with you and i'll be sharing the all the logics right and the same thing happens and other things maybe like uh, you know like you will be going across uh, 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 sliding window two pointers right and again you go for the dynamic programming so meanwhile you're gonna do it and again i'll be starting with uh, recursion also in recursion you know this is kind of our favorite thing right uh, when i when we do the recursion at least here in the recursion itself i'll make sure that like you know like you'll solve at least minimum of 50 questions and you enjoy the process of 50 questions and you'll see that how we can reduce the things that is everything right and meanwhile we're going to start with string programming right whatever we did in array the same logic is implemented here in the string the same almost the same thing and there are like some some you know like some some you know little changes over there for example you need to play with the ascii value for example you have uh, you know mutable data so immutable data right so you need to convert into arrays in maybe like in java or maybe like in python right so we're gonna tease that how to do that and almost all are the similar thing only but logics might differ it right first we'll do something called as brute force then we'll optimize it then we'll come across very 
optimize and minimal solution and meanwhile we also discuss about the time complexities right so uh, when we discuss all this when you know this when you start understanding this one uh, we will dis also discuss with what time complexity thing right so later on we're going to discuss the string programming we'll make it very comfortable to solve any of the things and meanwhile every day you'll be having this lead code hacker rank a code first code chef we give the enhance for there also then before we then we come back with data structures and then we'll come back with something like this we're gonna do with stack we're gonna do with queue we're gonna make it with linked list and we're gonna deal with double linked list right and then if time permits okay if you're really you know continue this in the part two this is this comes in the part one this comes in the part one if time permits we're gonna go with the part two where you're gonna do the advance if you play with this so much okay if you play with only so much okay anyone in mysore mark my words on this if you if you are if you are thorough with so much okay so you gonna place for at least for seven to ten lakh package very 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 cakewalk okay this video is for someone guys those who think that you guys have a minimal interviews okay or maybe like somewhat interviews you have it in your college some of the companies are coming to your college and you want to take a chance on it and you lack in a knowledge and this is the right place for you so you can come here and you can you know spend time as much as you can maybe like in an online or might be in offline and you can take this opportunity and mark my words on this once you are graduated from the college it is really hard to get it placed really hard and you are the alone person who will you know you need to fly alone that's all it is right and you know like people out there they are like charging you enormous of money for from you right it's like you know like you are doing engineering once again so four years of engineering is done again you need to do six months of engineering so this should not be the case right so that's the reason if you think that okay just go inquiry with your placement department or maybe like a head of your department go to them and talk to them which are the companies coming to your you know campus okay or maybe like you can interact with your seniors and you can know that okay which are the companies are coming you can list it out right and you can see that okay so if you lack in any of the you know like uh, knowledge you can just come through it and you can get it done and you can easily you can dive it okay so i'm i'm just talking here only on the coding uh, also you can also get it helpers with i you know we're gonna help you with this one also what is that aptitude and verbal also so we know that exact question that that's everything which of the company that is everything maybe like after all this if the tomorrow maybe like uh, tomorrow is the company is coming three days before we're gonna groom you or maybe like uh, we're gonna you know like uh, uh, do what a marathon thing right so on only on the company specific question i don't tell that okay those questions will come across the similar kind of a questions will come across we'll make sure that that preparation is done right so that is all about it now in the part two what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called as tree we're gonna do a uh, graph we're gonna do the greedy algorithms so we're gonna do knapsack we're gonna do kushkal that is all the heavy heavy algorithms we're gonna do it and not only doing that we're gonna solve the questions over there so that is what we're gonna tell that okay so meanwhile coming to this concept i just forgot that <laughs> regarding the concept of the language right we're gonna discuss depth of class and objects what is this one is constructor and it's overloading that is everything the minimal topic and inheritance polymorphism abstraction abstract abstraction interface right so again you have something called as collection framework right these are all the things which is really important for your face to face uh, interview so we're going to cover that also so this comes in the language part and this comes under the programming part if you ask me you're going to spend here maybe like 60 hours in 60 hours you're going to cover this everything you can cover normally the way we started in 60 hours you can connect the topics right but for this <laughs> uh, if it is one year or two year or three year you can go on continue for this okay minimum was to start this you can spend at least like 120 hours where you can get a you know great start within 120 hours i'm not telling 120 hours is enough this is never ending process guys that is where i told you one year two year three year even now in the company who are working they are into this right and they are walking through this I know that people without learning this also have gone in through the company but after two years they will struggle it okay if they wanted something called as increment they need to know this without this nothing is you know like happen going to happen in you there will be no you know the change maybe like if you are hired for 5 lakh package you will be in 5 lakh and then maybe like hardly you will go for 5.567 maximum you go for the increment like this one is good in this you can go for 5 then 10 then 15 it goes on like this right so that is what the whole point is by learning this what you can gain is you can gain the common sense and <clears throat> to get it registered to get it you know connected you can you can you know like just contact this number uh, double nine 
zero one zero two zero nine and zero seven right or else you can just simply ping us an instagram account so skill power so the link will be in the comment section right so uh, you have instagram you can connect or else you just simply comment it we're gonna interact with you and uh, or might be you know like you just ping to this number or maybe like uh, there will be a link for a registration so you can just fill that uh, you know form and we will directly be gonna connect with you one thing i'm telling you again i'm telling you if you're somewhere in the mysore and or maybe like any of the place and if you think that there are some companies which are coming to your college you can go to the head of the department or maybe like placement department you can ask them which of the companies are going to come to your college you can take a list out of it and you can start preparing for that and for that preparing if you if you if you look onto the any of the company this is the thing which you will be coming across the if you if you just listen this number logics patterns arrays strings recursion and dsa if you have these things then everything will come after that right after that in the face to face you need they need full stack they need mern stack they need um, uh, azure they need aws whatever you wanted you can do that certification also right so that is that matters a really lot even if you are not done if you are good with this you can easily go into it you can do into it now why these companies are going on to on to this because if someone is good with this we can mold them in any hub right we can train them in any of the things so that's the reason they are looking for it and we are not just using the building functions we're going to hard cook it like everything we're going to cook it and everything we're going to taste it all the single single line of the code we're going to taste it and uh, if you in your contact if you know anyone who are in a computer stream either in a bca mc or engineering or any of the department and if you think that it will helpful for them please share with them and it will change their life right so uh, it's going to change their life in a massive order by learning this one thank you so much and uh, see you soon